The purpose of the videos that we're showing you right now and the use of snag itself are just techniques. We're not comparing it with real fighting, you know, actual life fighting, real knife fighting. They are just techniques developed on the use of snag. Hi, here I have Dr. Grant Willis. I'm Lewis from Cruder Knives. Last video, we showed you the differences between a practice karambic, another practice tool, and snag. So you could see the difference between the practice and a true compliance practice tool. So we already know how a karambit works. And then we use the other tool and its functionality. And then we have here snag. The shape demonstrates the functionality. Okay, let's go over the parts of the snag itself. This is a paint compliance tool in a practice, meaning that there is no edge, no point. So we have a ring, we have a frame or handle, we have a thumb support, and we have the actual blade shape. This creates the S shape of the snag. Now let's talk about deployments. So we're going to start off with pocket deployment. First of all, if I need the tool, I can actually take the tool by just grabbing the ring with my index and thumb finger, pulling it up, it's closed, and it's ready to use. As before, remember, PPHR, push, pull, hammer, repeat. So I can hammer away, I can push, or I can pull. Snag is completely closed. I can take, again, snag out of my pocket, open up my thumb support, placing my hand in that ergonomic position. Once again, I can hammer, push, pull, but now I can pinch, jab with my thumb, scrape, grab, slap, doesn't matter. So, pull the tool out of my pocket, it opens, my blade, which is again a pain compliance tool, is ready for hammering, for pushing or for pulling. What we're going to show now is two-handed deployment of snag. You've seen out-of-pocket deployment. So what happens when I have my tool in my hand and I have an opponent in front of me, my tool is closed and I want to open it. Opponent, hands are up, he goes to grab, I push, I create a little bit of space, I do a scissor move and I hammer away. It doesn't matter if it's one-handed grab or two-handed grab. The action is still the same. I want to create that space to take my tool, to open up my tool, and to hammer away. Two-handed movement. And I'm going to grab. He pushes, and he's hammering away. Now, it doesn't matter what's in front, meaning that if I'm going to punch, he hammers whatever's in front of him, and he can reach. If I'm going to grab, whether he's on the outside, he can hammer. Whether he's on the inside, he can hammer. If he wants to hook, push, or pull, it's still the same. This is left-handed. 